Hey there! My name is Brittany and I'll be your guide to crochet this cuddly little lamb. Now this project works up fairly quick, but to keep it as detailed as possible, the tutorial is broken down into three separate videos. First things first, head over to behooked.com slash lamb to find the free pattern and then have a look in the video description for your list of supplies. In video one, we will crochet the head and ears. In video two, we will crochet the limbs and tail. And in video three, we will crochet the body and assemble our lamb. You will find a link to each video in the description as well. So let's get to it, shall we? For the body, you'll work rounds one and two exactly as we saw for the head. Now moving on to round three of the body, we want to increase on this round. So remove your stitch marker, make your first single crochet there. And for this round, we'll increase every other stitch. So this one single crochet counts as our first stitch. So we will make an increase in the next, or in other words, two single crochets. And that's the repeat, one single crochet in the next stitch, two single crochets in the one after that. And when you repeat this all the way around, it'll bring your stitch count from 12 to 18. For round four, we're going to increase again. We'll remove your stitch marker, make a single crochet in the first stitch. And for this round, we'll increase on the third stitch. So that's my first single crochet. I'll make one more and then put two single crochets in the next. And that's the repeat for this round. Make one single crochet into each of the next two stitches, followed by two single crochets in the next. And that will bring your stitch count from 18 to 24. Now moving on to round number five, we're going to increase once again, this time in the fourth stitch. So go ahead and make your first single crochet, followed by two more, And then we'll increase. Make two single crochets in that next stitch. Now that's the repeat for this round. We'll make one single crochet into each of the next three stitches, followed by a single crochet increase in the next, or in other words, two single crochets. When you do that, it'll increase your stitch count from 24 to 30. Now for round six, we'll increase once again, remove your stitch marker, make your first stitch. This time we'll make four single crochets in between our increases. So that's the first one. I'll make three more. And then make two single crochets in the next. And that's your repeat for this round. You'll make one single crochet into each of the next four stitches, followed by two single crochets in the next. And when you finish that, it'll bring your stitch count from 30 to 36. Moving on to round seven, we will increase again, make a single crochet in your first stitch. And this time we'll place five single crochets in between our increases. So that's the first one. I'll make four more. And then two single crochets in the next. And that's your repeat for this round. You'll make one single crochet into each of the next five stitches, followed by two single crochets in the next, and that'll bring your stitch count from 36 to 42. All right, now for rounds eight through 19, you're gonna follow the same repeat. It's really simple. You'll just make one single crochet into every stitch. Make sure you keep your stitch marker in place so you can carry it up the rounds because we are going to do some more shaping after we get to the end of this repeat. After that big long repeat, your work will look something like this and we're ready to go into round 20. We're going to decrease a little bit on this round and several of the rounds coming up. So make a single crochet in your first stitch. 
Now for this round, we need to make five single crochets before we do our decrease. So that's my first one. And we'll single crochet two together. I'm catching both loops. You can do either decrease, honestly, whatever you prefer. For this one, we're just decreasing every now and then, so I'm not too worried about there being a gap or seeing any space in between. So that's the repeat. We'll make one single crochet into each of the next five stitches, followed by a single crochet, two together, and that will bring your stitch count from 42 to 36. Moving on to round 21, our repeat here is really simple. Just make one single crochet and every stitch. Moving on to round 22, we will decrease once again. This time we'll make four single crochets in between our decreases. So make the first one of the round, followed by three more. and then single crochet decrease. Now here again, I'm not concerned with any gaps or anything, so I'm going under both loops of that stitch. I'll transition to that invisible single crochet two together once I get to the point where it's just a little bit tighter and we do have to worry about those gaps. So now our repeat for this round is to make one single crochet into each of the next four stitches, followed by a single crochet two together. Doing so will bring your stitch count from 36 to 30. All right, moving on to round 23, we will make one single crochet into every stitch for the entire round, so no decreasing here. Now for round 24, we're going to decrease once again. This time we'll make three single crochets in between our single crochet two together. And this time I will use that invisible single crochet decrease. So again, just catch that front loop only. If you choose to do this method, it'll help cut down on some of the gaps that you see as we decrease. And that's the repeat. You'll make one single crochet into each of the next three stitches, followed by a single crochet two together. At the end of this round, you will have a total of 24 stitches. Now for rounds 25 and 26, we'll follow the same repeat and that's simple. Just make one single crochet into every stitch. Now for round 27, we're going to decrease once again. We just have a few more rounds to go by the way. This time we'll make two single crochets before we do our decreases. So make your first and your second single crochet followed by a single crochet two together. I'm doing the invisible version where I'm just working in that front loop. And that's your repeat. Make one single crochet into each of the next two stitches, followed by a single crochet two together. This will bring your stitch count from 24 to 18. Now our final two rounds, 28 and 29, all we need to do is make one single crochet into every stitch. When you're finished with that, remove your stitch marker and make a slip stitch into that next stitch. We're just correcting a jog here. And then we can fasten off. Now leave yourself at least a 15 inch tail. We're going to use this tail to sew the head in place and you wanna make sure you have enough to do that. Pull that tail through the loop on your hook and you're ready to stuff. The first thing we'll do is assemble the arms and you'll make sure your color jog here is at the back when you sew it into place. We're going to sew it directly onto the body.
Now seam up the ends of each of your legs. Now take a cut of yarn, thread it on your darning needle, and run it through your button. We're just really going to sew the button on first, and then we'll actually sew the leg in place so that it swivels or it moves when you stand it up and sit it down. Now repeat that for the other leg. Now thread one of the long tails from where you sewed your button on onto your darning needle and look at your arm placement, sort of eyeball it and run straight down. We're going to count up about six rows from the bottom. Now you can really eyeball this. You don't have to be totally exact with it. And now this is where it gets a little bit tricky. We need to grab the needle over here on the other side. So I'm just going to squeeze the lamb's body until the needle pokes out and pull that through. Now one thing you want to be careful is that it's sort of in the right spot. You can see this isn't quite in the middle, so I'm going to try again. And when you're happy with that placement, pull it through. That should pull the one leg right up next to the body. And now we need to run this same tail through the leg. So I'm just going right through the back. I'm not doing anything with the button. I'm just really letting the button hide what's going on. Poke it out the other side, back through, being careful that it's not in the same place. And now we'll run it back through the body to the other side. Now you just want to keep doing this until your legs are nice and secure, but they still move up and down like this. Now to sew on the ears, remember we're keeping it flat and we're sort of curling it in and we'll count up about five rows from the eyes and go down about three stitches. That's where we're going to sew it into place. Hide your tail in the stitches below and repeat for the other side. Now use the body tail 
to sew your head in place. and weave in the tail along your stitches. Now the last thing we need to do is sew the tail in place. That wraps up our tutorial for today. Thank you so much for joining me. It's been a real pleasure to walk you through this project. I hope you'll share your photos with me on social. You can find me on Instagram at BeHooked, or you can post a photo directly to my Facebook page at BeHooked Crochet. Now, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the show. My sole purpose here is to help you get better at your craft, and I do that through episodes of BeHooked TV that publish every single week and make a long tutorials just like this one. Now go ahead and hit the like button if you found this video helpful in any way, shape, or form. Thank you so much for doing that, and I'll see you in the next one.